hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 okay so let's get back to you know the story okay y'all it's a legend the story this video is for entertainment and educational purpose, so everything is alleged. Some is not, and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Now, ask yourself this question, y'all. If you're on security for your brother, okay, you're the one that's supposed to be holding it down in case anything jump off, okay? Your nickname is Demon. All right, y'all? And it's clear that two cars was parked across the street. Right across the street. Okay. It's also clear that there were people following him from the gas station, y'all. Okay. People were following Dolph from the gas station. They were recording him then. Okay, y'all. Um, ask yourself this question. If you're on security for someone that you love or a family member you're supposed to be, you know, down for whatever, okay? If you was going to walk away from the store and go over there next door to get something to, you know, roll something up with. This is what they're, this is the lie they telling us. He went to the store, y'all. <laughs> y'all. If I'm on security for somebody, and they ask me to go next door to get something for them. The first thing I'm going to do when they ask me that is take a peek out. Look around and see if, you know, anything looks suspicious, y'all. Okay? That's number one what I'm going to do. Now, when y'all think about this, I want y'all to think about Raven and what Raven said. Raven said that, you know, she said this so many times, which make you think that, you know, this is what they told people that was coming in there to do to hit in the first place. You got to be in and out. It got to be quick. Got to be quick, 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 y'all. Now, the first thing, let's get back to the first thing that I would do. I would look out to see if anything looks suspicious. If there's cars parked around anywhere, that just, you know, people in them, you can't see in them. People in them, you can see, but they, you know, you know, what's the reason for them being parked or where they're parked? That's the first thing you would do. See, if anything looks suspicious, right, y'all? I'm starting to wonder, if he did go next door to the store, was that a part of the play, too? Was his part to go to the store so they can handle what they got to do, and then he come back afterwards and pretend, Okay. So it wouldn't look like he was a part of it as well. Okay? This, all this rocking on this stage, moving back and forth, acting like you crazy. Y'all, some ain't right about this picture. Okay? Something is seriously not right about this. Okay? So let's keep going. Why wouldn't he look around? And if he was looking around, y'all. If he was looking around. And saw anything out of the way. Would you even go next door? I wouldn't. I would have stayed right where I'm at. Like, no, nah, it's, it's too many cars around. Or it's two cars parked across the street. Very distinctive trucks parking across the street. With tenant windows and all this stuff. Point right directly in front of the store. No, nah, man, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Okay? And get ready just in case it's about to go down. Okay? So, give me a second, y'all. Why did he leave him? Was that all a part of the play? Is it also a part of why people that some kin to Dolph in Chicago is still getting hit up? Right after Dolph was taken out, that somebody else just got hit up. Is this all a connection, y'all? Okay. All of a sudden, Raven friends are coming forward. Does it make sense that the story that I just told y'all about, Dolph's father, the Thorntons and the Hills, 
Is this why it was so easy for them to set up Dolph, y'all? Because, you know, a Thornton took a Hills girlfriend. Okay, y'all? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Ask yourself this question. Did a Thornton take a heel girlfriend? And they have been had in for them from the jump. Were they jealous? Now, you know, we didn't sit up here and watch Raven talk about they worked for 22 years. And in 22 years, they've had this story. And this man, he had a little success. Not really success, but he had enough to keep him going. And loans and all this other stuff. And all the scams that they were doing. Putting their name and, you know, the loans and different names. All kind of stuff that they have been doing since they opened up this store. So they've been struggling to keep this store going. Think about this, y'all. And then the same girlfriend, Dolph's mother. Same girlfriend. She has a child and her child is adopted by, you know, somebody in the daddy's family down there. And um Dolph is adopted by a Thornton. Okay? And the Hills don't like the Thorntons anyway. And then the Dalton, then then Dolph comes up, y'all. He went from being adopted to this mega star, mega millionaire star, y'all. He's worth millions, y'all. Not hundreds of thousands, millions. Was the Hills jealous of him? Hmm, y'all. Was the Hills jealous of Dolph? Dolph's son coming up like that. Hmm. And he, you know, he stuck with the sister that, you know, they ain't got no kind of star, star stuff going on with them. Now, all of a sudden, his rival, his rival, the Thorntons, son has came up, got all this money. He's invested in a lot of the family members' little ideas to try to get them to do things on their own so they don't have to keep begging him. So he's investing in stuff, you know, doing stuff with them so they can make money too because he's a hustler. What better way to cut Dolph out than to get rid of him and then they get to keep all of the money that, you know, they owed Dolph. They get to keep their business. They pump their businesses up. He didn't get away twice, so we got to make sure he don't get away this time. So this is why he was locked in between those two doors. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to take in, but it's starting to make sense, y'all. It really is. It's starting to make sense of why people are connected. So Dolph is the cousin to Jason. Dolph is the cousin to this Makita girl that passed away that they named Makita's after. And Dolph is the cousin to Raven, y'all. They're all cousins. But, you know, some stuff is through marriage. Okay, y'all? Uh, so all of this pretending like they didn't know Dolph and do they, you know, this was all a front. But they didn't really hang out with Dolph like they didn't mess with him too tight like that. Because maybe the Hills, you know, they wasn't feeling Dolph and them part of the family, the Thorntons. Because, you know, she went from the Hills to the Thorntons. She left Memphis and started, you know, another life, even though it was, you know, hooked on street pharmacy life but it was still a life that they stayed together all these years y'all they stayed together all these years that's a long time that they've been together y'all Dolph's mama and daddy did they have animosity all this time 
at the same time they got rid of Dolph, but, but they made sure that it was a way that people profited off of it. Ask yourself this question, y'all. Seriously. Too many ties. Too many. The same people that were partying, y'all. Now, I cannot say this enough. The same people that were partying with Yellow Beezy is the same people that was partying after Dolph was taken out, y'all. Is this what this is about? A lot of people had a lot of kids down south back in the day. It wasn't nothing for people to have 10 kids, 15 kids. This person have this many kids. And at the same time they were having kids, it looks as if they were adopting kids down there too. A lot of people were doing foster care and adopting kids. So is this why Dolph was never really accepted down there like that? Ask yourself this question. They said Dolph was born in Chicago. And then he came down there. So he was always an outsider to them, even though he came down there at a young age. They all still felt like he was an outsider. And did they, you know, feel some type of way about him, y'all? Were they closer to the brother than they were to him? And this is why it was so easy for them, you know, to get the brother to go along with this mess. Is this the case, y'all? Now, another thing that I'm, you know, finding out is I think it's Judge Mathis or somebody. He just posted a video up. They just, somebody posted something up about um, Judge Mathis just came forward and said that there was corruption in Dolph's case. I think his name is Judge Mathis. He even saying it's corruption in Dolph's case. Y'all, something ain't, go, ain't right about this picture. But the story that I'm telling y'all is alleged, but is it? Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.